How do you feel about the new charge policy and do you think it is fair to students? Okay, I don't like the new charge policy for a few reasons. Um, it's not fair. Okay, so first I want to get into the fact that if you can't go to the bathroom the first 10 minutes of class or the last 10 minutes of a class and then you don't have time during your break if you have to walk really far, that's like 30 minutes of not being able to go to the bathroom. It's also not really fair to get, like put this, not institute, like to put this requirement to, to require this after having two years of no policy at all because like us seniors for example haven't had anything since freshman year so we aren't used to having anything for like the last two years we've, we've had nothing like it's just jumping from zero to 100 really really fast right another reason is that for example when I have, we have a class that is in the farthest room in the D wing and when we have to come up to this classroom up here, which is like the very front classroom upstairs of the main building, and in the time alone to walk with the crowded hallways, because this is all crowded as well, the time it takes to get from the back to the front, the songs are playing by the time we reach like the lunch quad or the yeah the lunch quad. So it's like there's not enough time physically unless we run, which isn't fair to us. We shouldn't make us have to run because you decide to institute something. So like in the middle of our senior year. It's just, it's just not fair. Mm -hmm. Also, the other thing I wanted to mention was that um, teachers sometimes hold the students late to do stuff, and that they shouldn't be allowed to do that. So if this is going to be like a thing and you guys are going to hold to it, instead of like how you guys ended it last time, if you're going to keep it going, you need to have make it clear to the teachers that the bell dismisses the students and not the teachers. And, that, and then the teachers need to um, use their time more wisely and cut off the lesson right before the bell rings at least and give a little, a little bit of time to pack up because there's just not enough time for people going from the back of the school to the front with all the crowding without running. So, yeah, yeah that's why I don't like it. What's your ideas on the tardy policy? Um, I think that... The tardy, policy, the tardy policy shouldn't be applied to zero period and first period. I mean, it already isn't applied to zero period, but I still think that it shouldn't apply to first period because I think a lot of people will have difficulty getting to school. You never know if people hit traffic, if there's going to be inclement weather, um, and like bus transportation, if that's held up and stuff like that. So um, I think there should be a little more forgiveness and a little more leniency in terms of those two periods. And then also for people who are on crutches or are injured, um, I guess it, they, they can't move as fast like across the entire school. Like when I had crutches, I definitely had to leave early from my class just to get to my own class on time and make it all the way across the school. So. Thanks. but I think it's kind of silly because when someone is late to class and they get detention, that means that they're going to be missing even like more class like, than they possibly could have. So um, I understand like what they're trying to do, but I feel like it's a better way to crack down all day rather than taking time away from your time. Yeah, um, so on the one hand, like obviously I think people should be in class on time and like if this helps promote that, that's good. Um, and actually, uh, my, my dad teaches at a uh, high school in Elk Grove called Monterey Trail that has had this same policy for like five years. And, and he said that it like works very well and very few people actually get detention so once they get used to it. On the other hand, um, I, I, I wish that the school would like try and address a lot of the other more significant problems before like doing this. I mean, like, we don't even have soap in the bathrooms, so it might be nice if they, like, dealt with that first before, like, imposing this, like, really strict policy to, like, punish people for doing something slightly wrong, when, like, they're doing all sorts of things wrong and not, like, making any changes to that. Yeah, that's what I think. I think it's a waste of time, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like, at first, it's just gonna be able to work, but after a few weeks it's going to wear off and then like it's not going to work as well. And then it would be all for nothing. Yeah. And then a lot of people are going to be late to first period and then there will be a pile up and then yeah. just, like people will be missing what's happening while they're doing all this, while they yeah. can just go in class like right after. And like things happen on the way to school that like yeah. you can't mm -hmm. exactly like control. Yeah. yeah. I feel like with first period like it, like she was saying, you can't like control why you're late. But like with the other periods, like after first period, you should be able to. I think they should implement it for those periods, but not as much for first. Yeah, it's different.
and the tardy policy, yes, is strict. I understand every period after first because some kids don't have control of their first period if they're late or not. So uh, uh, I think that the target policy should be not a detention as much as a recognition with the parents that, hey, maybe you shouldn't get your kids late to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or say it's something completely out of control, like say there's traffic, so we can't control as well. Well, we can, but like it's a, it's a bigger thing. You can't personally stop traffic. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and, uh, yeah, it's be more lenient on the first period policies because the rest of the period, I understand, kids ditch, they go to Oscars, that, that's, that's not as acceptable as simply being late to your first period. That, that's all I gotta say.